What is going on guys? I am Jehovah and real quick before this awesome video from Rue. Uh, Rue's my buddy and he does some GTA content on his channel and I put a lot of it here on this channel as well. And I'm a big fan of what he does so in order to help him out a little bit I'm going to run a little bit of a, uh, a promotion. So uh, if you guys get done watching this video and you enjoy it, check out his link in the description and subscribe to his channel and leave a like on this video. And everybody that does that will be automatically entered to win a copy of GTA 5 when it comes. What is hey fellas, how to do? I'm Iru with Threen and I'm welcome to my GTA 5 chat show. Today we're going to be discussing random events in GTA 5, something that I'd like to think is going to be quite hot in GTA 5, simply because random events such as people coming up and doing, you know, making you do side missions, coming up and ambushing you, trying to lure you in, trying to make you maybe run an errand or something like that, you know, it adds depth to not only the map but the gameplay itself. For Red Dead Redemption's example, okay, I've got this here. You can go out and someone says, like, help, I've, you know, maybe there's a, a wagon on the left of the, you know, on the side of the road that's, uh, it's got a wheel off, and he's like, maybe you can give me a hand or whatever, and then all of a sudden you start giving this guy a hand, he draws a gun, everything kicks off. I like the idea of this being in GTA 5, and from what I understand, it's actually confirmed, okay, I remember Rockstar saying that there will be fellas trying to thumb a lift, out in the middle of the desert. Whether you stop or not is up to you, and I guess really it all depends on what kind of player you are. Okay, so it does it in three ways in terms of depth for the game. All right, it makes the map more interactive itself because random events keep popping up. All right, which aren't random. We know for you probably guess for a fact that there will be some system there, but you know, random events popping up, maps more lively, also means that there's more to do in the game, which means you can get more playtime through it. And on top of that, your decisions for those mini games, or not those mini games, those little side things, would actually influence what happens in the game, perhaps to that character. Not necessarily along the main storyline, but it kind of just gives you your choice instead of this is what the game wants us to do so I think it, it's a really good idea to get it in there whether or not you can get some variety on it I don't really know I mean I don't I can't come up with too many ideas as to what you could do for that I mean thumbing a lift's a good idea I guess broken down vehicle you know maybe a maybe even a woman right this would be a good idea there's a woman over there she's maybe fallen off her bike or something she's hurt herself hurt her leg or whatever it's an act of course right and then perhaps <laughs> she's got this lipstick that, uh, you know, when she seduces you, which she will, because, of course, you know, Franklin loves his hoes, right? He's going to seduce you. Then flipping get passed out, then yeah, You pass out because of the lipstick. It's got something in it. Wonderful. Then all of a sudden you wake up, you've lost your money, you've lost a couple of weapons. Something like that. I mean, maybe she's even nicked your car. It, it, a lot of interesting things could be done all right to make it so that the game's more bouncy i'd like to say unpredictable all right maybe if you're walking through the streets of los santos of the night time different people come out and all of a sudden you know those different people spark off different things all right red light racing i don't know if that's the right term for it but let's just say there's a you know a meet somewhere which is completely random it just kind of shows up at random parts of the day at random things similar to like the sultan gt in gta 4 and the the futo gt in gta 4 just show up you pull up what's going on let's have a race and then you race and then at the end it all kicks off there's a lot of ideas that could be done of course i can't come up with too many because i'm only one brain all right so first of all i've got one of two questions for you do you like the idea of this? Do you like random event ideas? If you do, what types of events are you after? All right. Also, all right, come on over to my channel because I do a lot of GTA 5 stuff. I know I've been saying this now for a little while, but I do, I do, I try to get a video out nearly every day. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. It depends what's going on. But uh, I do try my best, and of course, when the game comes out, we, me and you know, Hover have got a, uh, a giveaway going on. We may try and get a uh, collector's thing going on, but we're not entirely sure just yet. But uh, like I said, come on over. I'm sure you'll like what you see, even if you don't stay. Come on over and see what's up. But uh, yeah, random events. What are your thoughts? I'll catch you in a bit. Thanks for watching.